back to Hamilton now where a brand new loo has just been unveiled and it's not just any old toilet. It is a first fully accessible disability bathroom in the country. Now you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. There are plenty of accessible bathrooms in this fine land of ours but apparently many of the intended users can't actually use them at all. But that problem has now been solved thanks to one very determined mum who invited Carolyn Robinson into her toilet. <laughs> There are many newsworthy loos, but this one at Hamilton Gardens might just be number one. The irony is with disability toilets is that you've actually got to be really quite able in order to use one. Jen Hooper says caregivers are resorting to desperate measures if they want to take their charges out. You've got to lay them on the floor of a public bathroom. I'd challenge you guys to want to walk into the next door public bathroom with bare feet let alone lay down on it. Jen knows this firsthand. So tell me about Charlie. Charlie is gorgeous. She had a massive brain injury at her birth, um, at a botched birth. Um, she's 12 and a half now. She can't see, she can't move a single muscle in her body and she doesn't know who we are. Charlie's needs prompted Jen to create Changing Places NZ, modelled on a similar campaign in the UK. And after three years of hard slog, she's finally ready to show this grand design off. It's a height adjustable toilet. It also has enough space either side of the toilet for a caregiver to assist. Curtains give privacy no matter who needs the loo, the carer or the cared for. And everybody retains their dignity and privacy. A height adjustable and fully automated sink has somewhere to hold on to. But this adult sized changing table might just be the best feature. So clearly with a shower here you yep. can shower someone on this bed, right? Yes. Yep. It's designed for that. Actually all the catchment for the water goes through these slats into the tray and the water doesn't splash everywhere. And if you're thinking it's not that life changing, well listen to this. It's really important to me this shower because I can't shower Charlie, even in Starship. There's not one single DHB in New Zealand that I know of that has this system. At the moment, if I want to take my family, say to Taupo for a week, Charlie doesn't get a shower. I would take a picnic table outside, I'd lay like a yoga mat or something on there for her, put her on there and bucket and ladle her outside. I imagine there must be some times that you're going to end up a little bit grubby too. Yeah, totally, yeah, and that's where the bed folding up is a really good, is a really good idea. And so that all users can use all of it, there's even a hoist. Jen worked with the Hamilton City Council to get this funded and built. Councils haven't not built these because they've been remiss. They've not built them because they didn't realise there was a need. The DHBs knew there was a need though, and I'm kind of disappointed to think that our DHBs, after decades upon decades of having high needs folk, that they haven't done better. Now she's shown what's possible, it's hoped more rooms will follow. Let's start with every city and town and move to every suburb and bus stations and train stations and airports. I want to be able to go with Charlie and with folk like her. We want to be able to go anywhere that you can go. It's as simple as that, really. Well, well done, Hamilton Council. That's fantastic. And maybe every other council in the country can take a leaf out of their book. Mm. Awesome stuff. Uh, how much does that disability toilet cost, you might be asking? Mm -hmm. $200,000. Uh, which might seem like a lot of money, $200,000, but I can tell you that the ordinary toilet block just across from it cost $300,000. So it costs less than that. Yeah, comparable.